Meeting partners, are you looking for unique ways to say thank you to your meeting planner client? Well, I've scoured the internet and I have found 10 trendy ideas that I think you're going to like. Want to take a peek? Hey friends, it's Leanne and I'll be the first to admit landing a piece of business from a meeting planner is such a great feeling in the world. Knowing that it's a great fit for our product or service, it just, it, you, it, you can't beat that feeling, but you also want to recognize the hard work that your planner did to get you that signed piece of business. While I've done posts in the past about different client gift ideas, this one's a little bit different today because these are tangible things that I shopped around the internet to find for you. And now I'm hoping you enjoy this little shopping experience as well. So it's Leanne's list of 10 meeting planner gifts for 2020. Let's go. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on that little bell to be notified of new content each week. Thanks everyone. Okay, let's take a look at these fun gift ideas. Gift idea number one, the curated box of goodies. You are seeing these pop up everywhere. There's Fab, Fit and Fun, uh, Ipsy, which is the makeup one. Celebrities are getting on board as well, like Rachel Zoe and Jillian Harris. You can buy curated boxes for anyone. Um, there's also some great men's boxes as well if your meeting planner is male. Or you can create a box on your own. I've received boxes from a couple destinations that were curated goodies from that particular destination and unique to that destination. Oh, and it was just so much fun. So curated box of goodies, always a hit with meeting planners. Gift idea number two, the tote bag organizer. Have you guys seen these things? They're a lightweight fabric rectangle organizer that meeting planners can stick inside their tote bag to keep their totes organized. I love this thing. Amazon is riddled with them. You can find so many ideas over there of different sizes and colors, but what a great way to keep your meeting planners tote bag organized. Idea number three, gift cards. Now I alluded to gift cards being a strong planner gift idea in a previous post. You can check out that video right up here and it's still relevant today. Now, if you want to personalize the gift card, there's so many ways that you can do it. You just have to dig into the mind of your planner to find out what they like. If they're a tea lover, then a David's tea gift card is a great idea. Obviously, coffee lovers love those Starbucks gift cards. But what if they're a book lover and something from Indigo would really impress them? Or perhaps they're sporty in nature and something from Sport Check. Or if you're not sure what kind of person they are behind the planner, then speak to the planner in them and maybe get them a Staples gift card. Just something that shows that you're listening for their cues and seeing the things that they like. Idea number four, experiences. And in your destination or the destination that the planner is located, there are a ton of ideas. In fact, a few years ago, I was kindly gifted with a wine tour from a local winery here in Kelowna. It still was one of my most memorable experiences. And I vlogged about that idea, actually. You can find the link to that video up here. It was just such a memorable experience. Perhaps you're in a town that has a lot of concerts or maybe some hockey games and you can find tickets to give to your client for those. Client gift idea number five, meal prep kits. These things are also everywhere for the busy professional. That includes your meeting planner. Maybe there's opportunity to get a meal plan kit in their community delivered the week or two weeks before their event. This is when they are the most stressed and have the least amount of time to prepare a healthy meal for their family. So look into meal prep kits and see if that's a great idea for you. Idea number six, the travel clothing steamer. I love this idea because it's great for both men and women, and maybe it's something you leave in their guest room upon their arrival for their program. Perhaps you don't even want to give it to them, but it's part of their on-site meeting planner strategy package that they have this little clothing steamer to steam out their suits. I just love that idea. 
You know, doing this list with you, I kind of feel a little bit like Oprah listing off my favorite things. And I'm sorry that I can't buy one of each for everyone in my audience, but this is really fun. I hope you're enjoying this. Idea number seven, Bluetooth speakers, especially the travel size, still very popular. And now that the iHome docks in most hotel rooms no longer are compatible with our iPhones, having those Bluetooth speakers are a great way for planners to play their music and unwind at the end of a long day. Idea number eight, socks. I don't know if it's your bag, but I love getting socks. I love the colorfulness of them. I love the warm socks when we're in chilly destinations. I think socks are still a great way and a great personalized gift idea for planners. Idea number nine, a customized personalized lanyard for when they're wearing their conference badges, etc. Now, I've been very fortunate. I was able to buy a beaded lanyard from Sheila Wong over at BBW. Sheila, I don't even know if you still make these lanyards, but they are the best lanyards. So this isn't the one that Sheila made. It's actually, I, I copied her idea and I made an additional one. Um, but it has two ends on it. So for name badges that have holes on each side of the name badge, it fits right in. And of course, if there's only one hole in the middle, you do it that way. So I don't know if you can get Sheila to make you one of these, or if you can make these yourself, or if you can bribe me to make you a few of these, but these beaded lanyards are so adorable and so cute, personal. I get so many compliments on these, and I think your planner would as well. Idea number 10 is very personal, I feel, but it's the book Becoming by Michelle Obama or even the journal that she created um, as an accompaniment to the book. Now, you don't need to read the book Becoming to get a lot out of this journal. And this journal is really something else. Very, very personal. It allows the individual to really deep dive into them as a person, their background as they were growing up. And what I like about these journals is now you as the partner can maybe scatter a few personal post-it notes throughout the journal and remind the planner how great they are at certain things when you find that page. So it's a $10 journal. It allows you to, to customize it or personalize it by adding some post-it notes. And hopefully that planner will find a few days to really sit down and write some stories in the journal with all the prompts that Michelle Obama has included. So anyways, I love this as a great economical and very personal gift idea. As I mentioned earlier, if you are still looking for more ideas, I have a couple other blogs and vlogs that address client gift ideas. You can check those out on my website over at leannecalderwood.com and links to those videos and blogs will also be in the description for this video. Partners, if there's an idea that I have missed that you would like to share with other partners for their planner gifts, will you comment below this video? I'd love to hear from you. Friends, I hope these ideas have at least sparked your creativity when trying to find ways to recognize your planner, or maybe you've even put a few of these on your Christmas list as well. If you're looking for additional resources on how to attract a meeting planner's attention, head on over to leannecalderwood.com and don't forget to sign up for my bi-weekly newsletter. Have a great week, everyone.